All right, before I get into today's topic of this video, I do want to give a shout out to the community here at Nintendo Prime who gave me this idea on a community post about four or five days ago. I asked you guys if you had any suggestions for topics you would like me to cover, and this is one of the top requested ones. And that is, why the heck doesn't Switch have Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime, DirecTV Now, or any other major streaming application, really at all? Now, in the United States, there is Hulu, and I believe uh, the Japanese version of YouTube, it's not YouTube, but it's a, it's a different company, is available in Japan. But in general, the Nintendo Switch, as a tablet, using mobile technology, using mobile technology that already has applications made for it on NVIDIA side of things with their Shield devices, is very strange indeed because it wouldn't be that hard to just port over all of the existing applications on the Tegra X1 hardware that already exist out there beyond Nintendo Switch. But for some reason, Nintendo and those companies can't seem to come to any sort of agreement. And yes, that's right, I am putting blame on Nintendo as well. This is on Nintendo, and this is on the various companies. Now, you have to wonder the fact that only Hulu is on the platform if Nintendo might be more at fault than anyone else. While Hulu might have agreed to specific terms, you have to question what those terms were. Does Hulu have exclusivity for a certain period of time? I don't know. You see, Reggie fils was asked this very question back at E3 when it came to why Netflix and YouTube are not on the platform. And all Reggie could say is, talk to the providers of those applications. So basically, go talk to Google about why YouTube isn't on Switch and go talk to Netflix. This would make it sound like Nintendo's not blocking those applications from coming to the platform, but rather, Nintendo is waiting for those companies to agree to Nintendo's terms to come out on that platform. And what could those terms be? Nobody knows. Now, if you look at the other side of the coin, Netflix last year heavily suggested through their customer support and other means that we should talk to Nintendo about why Netflix is not currently on Switch. And that made it sound like it was Nintendo's fault. In fact, we had heard rumors going on that Netflix was ready to go on Switch and was just waiting for Nintendo to give the thumbs up. Now, a popular opinion on why we haven't seen more streaming services is because Nintendo's paid online has not launched. Now, that's a fine theory, especially when you consider that PlayStation and Xbox both used to keep Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming services behind their paid service so whether it was the playstation network or xbox live in the past you used to have to be subscribed to them to also use your streaming services which felt really scummy on the surface because you're already paying for that streaming service plus you're paying for your internet and you can use those streaming services anywhere for free except on those devices so eventually xbox and playstation did drop that requirement now netflix youtube and Hulu in particular, have all been on Nintendo platforms, whether it was Wii U, Wii, or yes, folks, even 3DS. Believe it or not, you can watch YouTube and Netflix, I know 100% for sure, on 3DS. I'm not sure on Hulu, but I know those two apps definitely play on 3DS even to this day, which makes it really strange why we don't have those apps on Switch really a platform perfectly suited for it. In fact, I still find myself often watching Netflix and YouTube videos on my phone while I am working. Right now, all of the content I am making is essentially happening away from my studio. So I am using external microphones and, well, a laptop. So I don't have multiple monitors at my disposal. So my phone has kind of worked as a second monitor, especially if I want to play something in the background. And it would be super convenient if I could instead just kick the kickstand out on my Switch, set that up, it has an even bigger screen, the speakers are even louder than my phone, and I would appreciate being able to watch more than Hulu. Now, the thing is, when it, I, I think about all of this, is... Originally, I gave Nintendo a pass for not having these services because if you remember, Xbox massively advertised itself 
at launch of the Xbox One as a multimedia platform. So not just a gaming platform, but this is where you can watch cable and run your cable through it, and you can control it all with voice commands, and you can watch all your Netflix and all your Blu-rays and everything like that. And while PlayStation can do several of those services as well besides cable pass-through, Reality is they advertise themselves as a gaming platform first and foremost. And Nintendo could have looked at that situation and been like, you know what? We don't want people associating Switch at launch as a multimedia device. We want to distance ourselves from smart devices and be our own thing, completely dedicated to gaming. And honestly, I was okay with that at launch. As long as by the first summer we got those, those applications and those platforms... I didn't really mind it. Plus, that when Nintendo says something like that to the negative side of it, it's more so them saying they don't trust their own consumers to view the Switch as a gaming device. No one's buying the Switch to watch Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube anyways. It's more of a user convenience. So a little strange, but from a marketing perspective, I suppose I understood. Take the attention away from those apps. Put it on games like Breath of the Wild. Now, here in 2018, it feels extremely strange to not have these applications. They're applications I regularly use on multiple devices, whether it's on my TV, on my laptop, on my phone, on whatever screen access I have anywhere. In fact, I fully admit to using Hulu on Switch. Do I use it extremely often? No, but it does get turned on once or twice a week. It's all about user convenience. So while, no, having Netflix and YouTube and Amazon Prime are not deal breakers for anybody, it's still baffling it doesn't have them. And I keep wondering when it's going to occur. And honestly, I'm starting to get to the point that I'm not so sure it's going to. Now, if Nintendo does offer these services behind their paywall, to me, that's going to be a big issue. Despite the fact that that paywall is super, super cheap, reality is there was a lot of backlash over that for other platforms. And if it happens on Nintendo, I fully expect there to be a similar backlash. And I, too, will probably be piping up about it, even though I'm going to be a bit of a hypocrite because I'm still going to be subscribed to their online services anyway. Now, to be fair, part of me has to subscribe to their online services, just like I feel obligated to buy games at times because part of my job here at nintendo prime is covering the games and i don't feel like you can fully cover games uh, properly if you don't spend time actually playing them and no one else is just borrowing me games around here so i have to spend my money on that stuff and that includes playing games online which means i need their online service and then how am i going to test out their you know classic library of games and what they're doing with that unless i'm subscribed to their service so there's a bit of an obligation on my side but if i'm being honest even if i wasn't youtuber i would probably still end up paying for the service anyways even if i don't like certain aspects of it such as the fact that we have to pay for access to the internet in the first place, especially when they're not even offering us an internet browser to use in September, at least as far as we're aware. So just uh, lots lots of little things here that that set me off about what Nintendo's doing. But if they put this stuff behind a paywall, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. And I don't even think that's going to be the case because they never said Hulu is going to be behind a paywall. And I doubt Hulu is just forking over oodles and oodles of money to nintendo so i i just don't really know why we're not getting these services i don't think you guys know why either at this point everyone's pointing the fingers at each other we know netflix is pointing at nintendo and nintendo's pointing back at netflix that suggests that there is a contract between the two that they can't for some reason come to an agreement to even though they've done it for every system in the past and then on top of all of that we have to worry about why youtube and amazon's not here as well and this really makes me think that nintendo is more to blame here because if this is happening across multiple companies there's clearly some terms in place that other companies think is non-standard and they're unwilling to conform to i don't know what those terms could be because we're talking about all of these companies being multi-billion, sometimes trillion dollar entities, and we're still sitting here wondering when we're going to get it. In the end, us consumers are who are most negatively impacted. We might not care 100%. Like a lot of you guys probably go run under the comments right now and say, I don't care about Netflix on my Switch. I have this. I don't care about this. I have that. And that's fine. It's not about be- making the Switch the primary way you consume that content. It's about offering options 
options that are free and don't cost Nintendo much of anything, considering that even when you download the apps, they could set it up to download off of their own local servers. So it's literally Nintendo just putting a thumbs up and saying, you can release these applications on our platform. <sighs> All I know is it's a frustrating thing as a consumer. I want these applications. Many of you want these applications. They already exist for this hardware. It's very easy to port them over and make them run. And don't be like, oh, you're not a developer. You don't know. I'm a programmer. I am well aware how easy it is to get something that already runs on the Tegra X1 to continue to run on the Tegra X1. Something that's already been running on the OS, the underlying OS this system is using on other devices to run on the OS that's on this device for Switch. The Switch is not using unique custom built hardware and unique custom built OS's anymore. It's using an available OS on the market and available technology on the market. It has never been easier to port over existing applications for these hardwares and OS versions. Unfortunately, something is going on and there's nothing we can do about it. Anyways, folks, I am really sorry that I don't have any better answers for you. There's so much finger pointing, so much mystery around this. I've never been so miffed as to why a platform so obviously built ideally to have these applications doesn't have them. But well, I don't know. I guess I technically still watch YouTube on my thing because I access the, the web browser through their social media stuff that you're not supposed to do because there's a well-known bug in the OS right now that lets you access by screwing up your login, lets you access um, <laughs> the, the password reset on their browser and then you can watch youtube and netflix and everything but i mean let's let's not talk about that right like technically you can watch the stuff but i mean you're not supposed to so uh, it shouldn't be this difficult all right folks thunder up a from the tender prime and if you like this video you know what to do and if you dislike the video hit that dislike button subscribe for more content and i'll catch you in the next one yes, yes.